Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you like this video if this reading resonates. Be mindful that the readings are general so they may not resonate with everybody, okay? Um, and that's okay, just check your other placements if you don't. Uh, I've been talking about light and dark side a lot. So we're going to get into this spread. We're going to be channeling your light side and your dark side and how to balance things out. So let me guys, let me know if this resonates with you, okay? And let's get right on into your reading. Okay. For Libra. Your current state of balance. For some of you guys, you want to move fast at something. You're very excited. You're very passionate. You want something to move fast. And then on the other end of things, I feel like you guys have some type of scattered energy. You could feel like you need more information. Like you could be like, I feel like some of you guys could be like, like, like you're ready. Like almost like you're playing double dash and you're about to jump in, but you're staying at that that part about to jump in, about to jump in the game. A lot of you guys want something to move fast. You want to go fast. You want to do something fast. You want to put something out fast. But then again, you keep on second guessing yourself, I feel. And I feel like that is balancing you for some reason. For some of you guys, it can be like annoying. But for some reason, this is balancing you. The fact that you move fast and then you want to take a step back. So it's almost like, some of you guys may do things. Some of you guys may do things off of just, um, what's it called? Impulse. Some of you guys may have some Sagittarius in your chart as well. Your light side is stable. Your light side is present. Your light side is enjoying the present moment. It's grounded. It's very um, grateful for everything that, that, that you have, everything that you've worked hard for. Your, um, your light side is very, very, very loyal. You're very generous. You'll give somebody the shirt off your back. You may, you may also always give to charities or always give to, you know, the people on the streets. Um, you may also, you may be very, very big in charity, Okay. Your light side is, is like a is, is a giver. It's a giver and it's a very, very loyal friend. Also, some of you guys may be like that strong, motherly. You may find yourself being like that motherly or that fatherly figure in your friend groups or just like just like in your sibling places. Like like you're 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 the mama, okay, of the group. That's your light side shining out. Your shadow side, hmm. Your shadow side is with the drama. Okay. <laughs> Your shadow sides with the drama, with the conflicts, it could be competition, could be you feeling like you have to compete with other people, but it's drama. It's like you know how to be petty. When you find yourself being petty and you just won't be the p bigger person in the situation, you're not looking for the light and, you know, being the mama and knowing everything right to say. When you find yourself arguing and being, that's your, sh that's your shadow side coming out. When you find yourself sh um, being argu arguing and being um, petty, all this drama, like you, you can come with the drama. Don't get it twisted now, okay? Your light side expresses itself as you being very, like, you have a hunger and an eagerness to do good. Like, you want to learn from your mistakes. You're anxious to do well in life. You're act, you actually really want to do the right thing. You have a passion for doing the right thing. But in the same sense... But in the same sense, I feel like in doing the right thing, sometimes you guys feel like you need to do it. You you need to take a break from doing the right thing. I feel like sometimes doing the right thing is not what interests you at the time. Like sometimes you really, you really want to resort to the to the drama. <laughs> 
I know I do. I know I do. I know y'all can sit here and act like, okay. <laughs> but I know I do. You really want to, sometimes you really want to resort to the drama. You want to get it popping. But you can't. You know you can't do that all the time. Because then in the, same, in the same sense, you're going back and forth. Because you really, really, even if you, if you rub somebody the wrong way, like you probably find yourself always asking people, okay, what did I do wrong? Or what happened? Or, well, you know, what's going on? Or how you feel? Because you really, really have a passion for learning from, from your mistakes. Like making mistakes is not sitting, it don't, don't sit, sit well with you. You have a higher passion for learning than... I don't want to say than the normal person, but then like the normal person, your shadow side affects your, um, how does your shadow side expresses itself in your life? Some of you guys have used your shadow side tactics to get in, to start many, many of your relationships. Some of you guys start relationships based off your shadow side. Some of you guys could have had relationships in the past that y'all was friends just because of some the drama. Also, I feel like your shadow side also like you keep shit to yourself. Like you can you can go like into like a, a period of like turtle turtle mode, like shelling up. But I feel like this this makes people really like you. This makes people really want to commit to you for some some weird type of way. This makes people want to be around you. Also, in the same sense, this makes people pissed off at you as well. Your shadow side. This is this this is the start of breakups. This is the start of arguments, separations. But this is also what connects people to you. This is like they can't help it. The advice for balancing your shadow side, I mean, your light side is, I feel like some of you guys need to get out there and have fun. Everything is not about doing the right thing and being the one who knows, you know, right from wrong or being the mama of the group or being the one who does the right thing. Like, you can get out there and have fun. That's how you balance. You can get out there and have fun. You can get out there and do whatever it is that you want to do in life. Move this over so you can see what we got going on here. You can move out there and you can have fun. Everything is not all work and no play. Like, I feel like you can have fun. And you can get out there and mix and mingle with other people. And there's other people who are like you. I feel like that that's what will balance you out as well. Okay? The advice for balance in your shadow side... I feel like you have to learn to let things go and to move on from certain things. I've never forget my sister used to be like, you will beat a dead horse. And I really will. Like, I'm not even, I'm not lying at that. She wasn't lying. Like, I really, if something don't sit well, I'm going to beat that dead horse. I feel like some of you guys could, could just let things be. Like, you don't have to come with the drama and continue the petty. Like, some of you guys can continue, continue the pettiness. Okay. At the bottom of the, di the the deck, you do have the Hierophant. I feel like some of you guys are mostly working with your light side. Some of you guys have a higher level of consciousness. And some of you guys don't really... Like, your shadow side is going to come out, but some of you guys don't really have fun and just let it, let it happen. It's there for a reason now. The higher intelligence made us with it, so why are you suppressing it? Why are you trying to... Why are you labeling it as bad? Hmm? Why are you labeling your... Is that my phone? Why are you labeling your shadow side as bad? Let's clarify these cards for you. If this is resonating with you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Your shadow side can bring the drama. Your light side is minding their business. <laughs> Your light side is minding their business, happy, content, 
normally you're content with life. Normally you're happy go lucky. But that shadow side though. You ain't seen Patty yet. You say, oh, you think you Patty. Watch out real quick. You ain't seen Patty yet. Right. Let's clarify. For leaps, for leaps, for leaps. Light and dark. The moon. Your current state of balance. Light and dark. You got the moon. Some of you guys could definitely be balancing in your shadow side. The moon is also shadows. So some of you guys could currently be bringing that bringing that type of um, balance. I feel like you guys go between both very well. You're very good at going between both. You're very good at keeping things hidden, keeping things unseen. And then you're also very good of being being a, a light of clarity, being truth, okay? Telling the truth about something. But you do keep a lot of things hidden. I feel like that helps you a lot. Your light side is the side of you that, that, that goes back and forth. That's your light side. I feel like because you want to do right so so bad. Or some of you guys could want to, you know, give a lot. You could want to, you know, be very loyal. You could want to work like you're a hard worker. You're very strong. Like you pride yourself on your strength. And I feel like sometimes like you, you can help a lot of people. You need a, you need some work. When you go through that point of your, 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 um, overthinking, you're, you're overthinking and you're anxious and everything. That's your light side. I feel like because most of the times you give most of yourself to other people. Your shadow side. <laughs> Look at the Knight of Swords. Your shadow side is when you fast, when you when you when you when you ready to act quick, act fast with it. Like when you don't give when you're not weighing things out, and it's like those be the most. The, when I don't think about something, and I am just. Letting things come out, those are the days where I be like, I shouldn't have said, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Like, those be the days, because like I said, we could bring the drama. I'm more, I'm, re I'm just resonating to this 100%. Let me know. Or am I just tripping? Okay. <laughs> Do we have a tribe here? Are we together? Are y'all with me? But yeah, it's like when you, you can bring the drama fast, okay? It can get real, real chaotic, but you're ready for war. Like, that's you. I feel like this is you. Your, your, your shadow side is ready. Your shadow side don't need to get ready. <laughs> your shadow side is ready. Always ready, so you ain't got to do what? Got this page of swords. I feel like your shadow... This is definitely your... Your passionate, your... I feel like... Your shadow side gives you new bright ideas with this page of swords here. Your shadow side is where you do all your thinking. And it's so crazy that swords are coming out here. Your shadow side is where you do all your thinking. Your, I'm not your shadow side, your light side. It is all your thinking. You come up with new ideas. I feel like this is new ideas, better to learn from your mistakes. New ideas to do well. New ideas, new passion for, for whatever you're working on, for your dreams. Like you, you ponder up a lot of your ideas when you're working with your light side. Okay. Look at this. People may love that fire in you. Somebody loves the fire in you. People love. It's, it's been proven. 
that people love the fire inside of you. It makes people crazy. It's like when they figure out this person that's so sweet and generous got that much fire up in them. And I say fire. I say somebody has Sagittarius in their chart. I have a lot of Sag in my chart. I have a lot of fire in my chart, okay? That's probably why I like fire. But anyways, um, somebody loves the fiery side of you. Your fire side could come out a lot. Like, people can be pushing your fire. Like, relationships, I feel like, push that out of you. I feel like some, some of you guys are, um, you're good with people generally. But when relationships come, when relationships come in it, I feel like you can't really hold on. Like, that it's coming. Like, don't start, no, won't be none. That's, what, that's how I feel like it is for you. Like, you, somebody, like, your partner knows how to bring that out of you. Okay? You need to travel. You need to get out. I feel like also some of you guys, need to, you need to get out the house, work, play, fun. Also, some of you guys need to learn how to move. Move on from one to the next. Make a choice. Focusing on your future plans. There also could be some partnership. There's some type of tribe here. That you can be um, connected to. That can balance you out. But I feel like this is about you getting out. That's how you balance this. You may also need to get out with friends. And then also do that me time. Advice for balancing your, your shadow side. Like I said. Some of you guys need to learn how to move on from situations. Some of you guys need to learn how to leave things that don't suit you well when that when that part of you comes out too much and that's like something ain't right there like when that fire is coming out of you too much something's not serving you for a higher purpose for a better purpose for, for a good purpose and it's time for you to walk away literally turn your back on something like you got both of them like moving away abandoning something moving on to the next like move on don't beat that dead, dead horse don't try to make something work that's that's definitely not going to work for you okay So, that is the message that I have for you guys today. Um, I'm thinking about, should I do some Oracle? Well, you know what, no. That is the message that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. If you did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.